Hey guys, this video is about an update on the tea lard stove that I'd made previously on my channel. I've received a lot of good suggestions, some comments, some queries as well. So I thought I should make a video and update you guys on some of the improvements that I've made. If you're watching this video for the first time, I would recommend you to watch the previous videos because only then it will make any sense of what I'm talking in this video. You can watch the videos by clicking on the i button on top or there is always the links in the description. You can find it there. With that said, I am Josh and welcome to my channel, Video Epo. Let us understand the efficiency of the stove in layman's terms. A stove would be considered good if it has got good uh, flame and then if it is producing less smoke. When I tested this stove last time around, there was a lot of smoke. One of the suggestions was to make the bottom holes a lot bigger so that there is better airflow and it will support the flame. In my opinion, I tried making this stove with aluminum containers before and the holes were much smaller and it worked perfectly fine. What I would say is the wood that I'd used were of big chunks. So I think this stove can handle only small pieces of wood. Plus I tested this stove when it was too windy outside, especially when there was a hurricane warning and the wood was also damp and it is not the right way to test any stove for that matter. This part here was not made before. This is an additional thing that I've made. Let me show you what I've done here and why I've done that. This top piece will concentrate all of the flames in one spot. The center piece shown here is made by rolling sheet metal into tube on hydraulic machines just the way the body of the stove was made. The diameter of this tube is smaller than the inner tube of the stove. Therefore, it is welded to a metal ring and this ring was cut at the industrial yard as well. It has a few flat bars welded at the edges to place the whole unit safely on top of the stove without slipping. For the container stand, a circular gas stove stand is welded on top. The stove was filled up with wood and once the fire started, the stand was placed on top. Then a pot of water was placed on it. It was burning well for about 5 minutes and then the problem of smoke reappeared. Upon emptying the stove, I found that only the top layer had charred or burnt and the rest of the wood was still intact. At this point, I decided to further break down the wood into smaller pieces. It took me a while though. I made sure the top is covered with biomass, in this case it is straw. I made 3 cotton balls and dosed them with diesel to give the stove a fair fiery start. Again it was burning well for some time but then the same thing happened. A lot of smoke and no fire. At this point, I figured out that the wood was not the problem. In fact, you guys were right. The holes in the bottom has to be a little bigger. The bottom part of the stove has a base plate welded to it. It had to be cut open. Then a lot more holes were drilled on the bottom. The air vent holes were also enlarged by cutting some slots. Instead of welding the base plate, the stove was now placed on a pair of bricks. Then the stove was filled with wood till the brim of the inner tube. It was set on fire and I waited with patience. The rising black suit you see is not from the wood but from the diesel in the cotton balls I had placed inside for starting the fire. Again I waited patiently. After some time the fire caught on and this time and this time it did not stop. A container with water was placed on it and the stove went on without a fuss. It's quite windy out there but then the stove is able to maintain a flame and we have boiling water. We have a successful tailored stove. I tried this stove again a few more times and it worked without any trouble. I can now confidently tell you the tea lard stove works. I am obliged to thank you for all your suggestions and your support. Hope you liked this video. I will see you in another one very soon. Until then, bye bye.